they were going to do something. And nobody did anything. Everybody stood around. Twiddle their thumbs like these are threats that are. What's the word? No value. Have no validity. That's what they felt. And then here you go. This happens. It's like you got blood on your hands to be blunt. Because you could have did something. This week in the Atlanta metro area, we've had several things that occurred. You had one where a teacher was in his class with a gun. He locked himself in the classroom. Principal came and he tried to shoot at the principal. He goes into custody. So I don't know if he was making a point or decision or making, I mean, making a, a point about teachers with guns in classes. That's what a lot of folks are speculating. But I don't know what his intention was. I don't think it was people thinking he was trying to kill himself. But I don't even think it was that. I think it was on some real BS maker as a statement. But you had that happen. You had another one where you had a private school, the KIPP um, High School here, which is a um, charter school. Student found with a gun was expelled. You had another school where it was just word that this kid might have brought a gun to school. As soon as he gets home, he's accosted, shook down. He didn't have a gun. It was just the the just the word that he 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 may bring a gun to school. There was another incident where somebody may go, may bring a gun to school. So right now, there's no plan with that. You just mentioned that you threaten the school, you threaten the student with a gun. It's going down, bro. They treat this shit serious, and that's how it needs to be because. That was crazy. That was crazy that that occurred. So the security in these schools is out of control. You know what I mean? I know we have police officers in our school system in Virginia. And most other school systems have a a, a resource officer. But you know, it doesn't make any sense. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mocha just said something that I didn't see. She said, Cruz has an 800000 inheritance left by his mother, so his relatives are trying to get that money and not give it to him. Yeah. That's crazy. I didn't even know that. $800,000? I don't know if she passed away when he was young. Gun control. There's going to be a lot of flat. I got that. As a hashtag on my show. So fool's going to listen to this to see what I'm talking about. But if you look at it. The second amendment. I think the second amendment was created. When we had bayonets in this country. Bayonets. It was created back in the 1870s and shit. That's the right to bear arms laws that was created then. You load a gun and shoot. Bow. And it takes you another minute to load up for your next shot. That's the type of guns they were talking about then. Now you got AR-15s. The gun of choice for all of these things that are going on. No control on how to get this gun. No control on what type of person is able to obtain this gun. And why is this gun available anyway? What is your purpose of having an assault rifle right now? You got gun owners owners who go on debate me. You got gun owners probably in the chat. And they may email me, text me or whatever and say your point. But you ain't got no point. Because all the gun is needed for is your protection of your household, your family. Now, true, the gun, uh, well, no, I ain't even going there yet. True, the thugs, the drug dealers, the robbers, the thieves are going out with some high-powered stuff. But why? Because of the control, whether it's on the in the legal area or whether it's on the black market they're getting their hands on some shit so everybody feels like let's just keep amping up let's just keep arming ourselves 
let's just keep on uh, getting as much ammo and as much high power uh, rifles, handguns that we can to defend ourselves. So that in itself is a problem. Shout out to SNH who's up in here. Stop by to say hello. Hello to you too. That is a problem in itself. It doesn't make any sense that we're at that point where people are debating whether we need gun control or not. This week, Casey Cagle, congressman in Georgia, is upset at Delta who severs their ties with the NRA. And I don't mean they sever their ties like an NRA member can't fly no more. They just, the NRA no longer gets their discounts. So you don't get your discounts. And Casey Cagle is an NRA member. He said, okay, y'all gonna play like that. So we no longer gonna give you your fuel tax cuts that you normally used to. Really? Is that how we're going now? Corporations are now controlled by government for personal interest. The NRA controls this whole damn country. People are scared to talk about it. People are scared. I might not make it out this show because I'm talking shit about it. They might be out shooting up my shit tonight. But at least you heard what I had to say. I'm firing back. So yeah, I got a gun. I ain't say don't arm yourself. I said gun control. Do you know the governor signs the bill? So they, they, they call Delta's bluff. Like, hey Delta, yeah, you do this, this is what happened. So they did it. So Delta being the largest carrier in the world's largest airport, Hartsfield Jackson in Atlanta, Delta could just pick up that shit and leave. And where are we left? We're united with somebody else having to come in and fill that spot. But jobs will be lost. Revenue will be lost. And guess what? You have now set the precedence that, you, that you're going to step in. Government's going to step into private industry and control shit that... We were one of the top spots Amazon was going to choose for their second headquarters in the state of Georgia. But guess what? They asked is probably like, hell no. Nah, we'll pass. So you just hurt the chances of gaining Amazon to your state. Now, how dumb can you be now? Your state that's filming all of these great movies. All of these great films all over. You got your music industry popping. You got your film uh, industry popping. This is going to hurt all of it. It's going to hurt all of it. It's going down. So y'all is fools. That's what I'm saying. This state of Georgia is fools for that bullshit that they, they, they pulled. Because of the NRA. So, that's what I got to say. Fuck the NRA. That's what I said. Y'all, it's on record. Y'all heard that. If I um no longer work and uh, have to uh, do my own business as a car detail person because I'm no longer, I'm blacklisted or something, just let y'all know what happened. And uh, I may long, no longer do a show either, but that's <laughs> that, that's the reality. Is it? I don't. These dudes got the power. They got. They're a mafia in this country, man. For real, they run all of the government. But that's some bullshit, man. That move right there was some punk stuff. You know what I'm saying? And for you not to realize that this country needs control, you just want to arm teachers, arm, 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 you got a damn problem. It doesn't, it's not necessary in other countries that have tighter gun controls. And they are functioning fine. The crime is less. There's no 
mass killings occurring in these countries because of these tight laws. Seriously? I mean, seriously. Are you really going to be that arrogant? It's just a... It's just a... Sign of how this country operates, man. A sign, did my brother come up in here? What's up, man? Rasan up in this piece. That's my brother. Yes. But you know what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, hey, June said they coming for you, Keith. You laugh ass. Hey, y'all got my back, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Morgan said a representative from NRA will be coming to my house in a few minutes. And they're going to be met with fire and brimstone. Because I ain't playing. But they got probably more guns than I got. But whatever. I'm going out firing. But just know what happened. If I mysteriously get took off the road tomorrow on my way to work. Y'all know what it was. Or if I get stopped by the police just randomly. Y'all know what it was. But the NRA is no joke. They run this damn country. And it don't make no damn sense. You know what I mean? <laughs> it don't make no sense at all. Hey. We about to take a commercial break here. When we get back, we can continue rapping about this stuff, man. But crazy. When we get back. All right. Let's pause for a break. <laughs> Let Whole Team Enterprises be the number one source for all your marketing needs. They specialize in web design, graphic design, videography, flyer printing, t-shirt printing, web hosting, and more. For your business or next event, be sure to reach out to Whole Team Enterprises at www.wholeteam.com. Be sure to get your car serviced by the professionals at ICN Services, located in the Buckhead area of Atlanta. They are a full-service automobile concierge service who are an on-site automobile detailing provider with the advantages of their come-to-you service. Your car can get their needs taken care of while you continue your day. They will take your vehicle to appointments, inspections, repairs, returns, and more. Find them online at www.itscleannow.com or reach them at 404-934-06. Seven, five. Go see my guys at Platinum Auto Accessories in Lithonia, Georgia. They can get your car audio needs tight. In addition to the audio enhancements, they specialize in visual enhancements for your car as well. Lighting, rims, alarm systems, remote starts, and more. Visit Kevin and James with some of the best deals in the Atlanta metro area. Conveniently located at 2648 Lithonia Industrial Boulevard off I-20 at the Evans Mill exit. Also, give them a call at 678-323-7888. Mention this ad for a special discount. Friends of the Kicking It With Key C Show. You've reached re Kicking, Kicking It With Key C Show. Show. The number one chief rocket jersey firm. The Lonely Hearts Cafe. Spicy Conversations. It's Vince Wright, the sports governor from Minnesota. <laughs> The sports bar, also known as Stacy Sports Radio. Click the Marvel yeah. Show. Sports show. 